Well, I think it got too close to around minus 30 last night. Not sure on that, but... So, and even with the cold temperatures we've been getting, the shop is actually holding its own as far as temperature. You know, it is below freezing in here, but considering uh, what we've been getting, it's kind of holding its temperature. So, yeah, I, uh, I got no heat for the shop. The boiler needs some major repair, and I've been putting my time into uh, getting uh, solar heating going for the house. You know, we've been adding a garage on there and stuff. So this is the stuff that I want to use in my solar heating system, and I uh, use it as antifreeze. So it's rated for a pretty cold temperature, and it's also food grade. So what that means is I can use it in my heat exchanger to warm up domestic water if I want to. And let's say if I got a leak in my copper somewhere and this stuff, you know, accidentally gets into the uh, drinking water, you know, everybody just calm down. It's not going to kill everybody right off the bat, you know. Probably wouldn't want to drink it right out of the pail. But I had it sitting outside. I kind of wanted to see how fluid it was after it uh, gets some cold temperature, you know what I mean? And it seems good. So uh, it looks like we're going to be putting that in. Well, so this is the garage that I've been working on. And uh, it's about as cold in here as it is outside because I don't have it finished up. But uh, so mounting solar, it uh, for this project, it starts with at least knowing where the wires are. So when I ran the wires, I'm running them right around four feet high. You can see the sheeting right here. That was kind of like my guide. And so wherever it goes through the wall, that was the height that I wanted to go at. So then even for future projects, you know, if a guy wants to uh, put some shelving in or, you know, stuff like that, you don't have to wonder, well, is there a wire right there? You know, just kind of write it down or remember it's at four feet high. So that's one of the disadvantages to uh, mounting heavy projects on the wall of an existing building because you don't know exactly where the wires are. So deck screws aren't particularly known for shear strength. And but hey, I found some three and a half inch here that have some pretty good diameter. You can see that's a lot thicker than that uh, three inch that's right beside it. So uh, we're gonna be using these to, in today's videos. I think there's some strength in numbers. And uh, I wanna run two by six along the length of the wall and mount the solar onto that. That way I can run a bolt right through the 2x6 and I have a nut with a washer on the back side and then I can control how much clamping force I'm putting on the brackets outside the wall and uh, I think that's going to make a difference in uh, how it's going to seal up keeping the water out and uh, see with a lag bolt if I just bury that into the uh, vertical 2x6 you know I've got all the weight of that bracket just on that 2x6 and I have a limited clamping force before it starts to tear that that uh, wood thread right out of there, you know what I mean? So I put a couple of screws in the wall just to hold that 2x6 in place while I uh, put the screws to it. And I also pre-drilled those 2x6 and that, that gives that deck screw a better chance to pull that 2x6 uh, up tight against the wall and uh, that's why I did that. So I didn't go too big on that uh, pre-drill, but uh, just enough to uh, help clamp that thing down tight onto the wall.
And uh, so then, up next was uh, cutting this uh, styrofoam, and, then, and it's an uh, inch and a half, and uh, two by six is an inch and a half, so then it ends up being a, a flush wall. And then, uh, you know, from there I can uh, put the house wrap on it and uh, start getting ready for siding. So, uh, yeah, so we've got to get some solar on the wall here. Let's uh, see if we can get some uh, heat going.